Hello and welcome, my name is Legion and welcome to the first Microsoft Flight Simulator video for my channel. Today we'll be going over how we install new skins to Microsoft's A320 Neo that comes with the base game. Now, before we get started, I will show you the base skin that comes with the game. So if you click the liveries box after selecting your aircraft, you'll notice that the A320 Neo only comes with the Neo skin. Now, let's get started and I'll show you how we do this. Okay, so once on your desktop, First of all, we want to open our file explorer, which you can do by pressing the Windows key and the letter E together. This will open up this window here. Once in here, you want to go to the download folder that you put in earlier. I've already got mine up, so let me just open that up here. Okay, so once you're in here, you'll have this liveries mega pack. Now we are working on adding more aircraft, or sorry, airlines to this pack, which will come over the coming weeks. Microsoft have announced an update planned release of August 27th. At this stage we don't know what's in it, but we're hoping for some official liveries. In yeah. this folder you'll find two more folders, so one is for the Cessna 208B and of course the A320. With these folders, all you'll need to do is open up another file explorer. For those of you who have installed it in a custom location, you can follow along too, but instead of going app data, you would be going to wherever you installed it to, whether that be a second drive, or somewhere else on your machine. So, to get to app data, you can just type in percent app data percent and hit enter. That'll bring you to your roaming folder by default. Now, thankfully for today, this is where we need to be. So, if you scroll down, you'll find Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once in here, we want to select packages, and then of course, you've got the official and community folders. Now, with the official folder, that is where all the default aircraft skins scenery, airports and whatnot go during your initial startup of the game. Some of you are having issues with this and we are working on putting up our files onto OneDrive or Google Drive. Once that's available, I will release a video on how you go about installing that into there. Now this folder is pretty large, it's roughly about 100 gig. Uh, so of course, if you are on a slower connection, you can expect a bit of a delay. However, we hope that it will be faster than the actual launcher itself. Now. If we go into community, of course, at this stage it will be empty. Now, I've left my game open, but what you want to make sure you do is close your game down. Once it's closed down, all you will do is copy these two folders from the pack that you downloaded from the description of this video. You can straight away just drag them into the other one, or you can do Control C and Control V in the new location. So once they're in there, what we'll do, we will open up the game. If you haven't already, make sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos and hopefully we can give you some more tutorials on things that you might be struggling with. Make sure in the comments you do let us know as to what you'd like to see more of and we will do our best to work towards it. Now, now that that's copied, we'll go back ahead and jump into the game and that's practically it. So we'll throw over the game and I'll see you there. Alrighty, so once we're back in the sim you can click on world map. Now from here you want to go ahead and select the A320. Now, it's already picked up that we've added some skins, so now if we go to liveries, you'll see all of the available hairlines. Okay. So we'll do that. Alrighty, so that's all done. Once that's done, we can just hit fly, and I'll see you when we load into the sim. Alrighty, so as you can see, once we're in the sim, it does look rather nice. This is only one of the many liveries that come with this pack, and as I mentioned before, we are working on adding more to this pack. Now thankfully this has come from the community, it is not something that I have done myself, but I'm sure that they are working hard on the other skin. Whilst I mention that, as I've said before, myself, I am working on a couple of the other local Australian airlines to basically try and put you in, in uh, Australia feel a bit more for those of you who want to fly around Australia. Now, one of the series that I do intend on doing this year will be to, of course, fly around the entire edge of Australia. And it looks like I've had a 747 spawn behind me. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.